Things are looking very bad for Doctor Strange 2 and for Marvel in general, which of course trickles back into Disney once again. Disney is continuing to have fail after fail, and this time around, Doctor Strange 2 appears to be the culprit. Now, as we all know, there are a lot of things that factor into a successful movie in the box office. One of those things is the success of the second weekend for the film. If the film has a very solid second weekend, then that means that the film has legs, that people are enjoying the film, that they are positively telling their friends about the film and everything else, that they should go see it and all of that stuff. And that is absolutely not the case for Doctor Strange 2. So Doctor Strange 2 suffers one of the worst drops in MCU history. Now there are a lot of people out there that are trying to spin this as still a really, really awesome thing. Uh, you know, but the, the the fact of the matter is, I mean, there's there's a lot of people out there that are pushing the narrative right now that Doctor Strange 2 is still number one in its second weekend. Well, yeah, it's very, you know, it's very easy for it to be number one when there are no other major releases coming out this week or this past weekend. So that's just a really, really stupid argument, but it is one that the media loves to use to try to prop up this film. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into some of the details here, some of the nitty gritties about this film. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, starring Benedict Cumberpatch and Elizabeth Olsen, has been released in theaters across the globe. Audiences flooded the cinemas last weekend, with the film earning $187 million domestically and $265 million internationally. Which makes sense. A lot of people were interested to see where they were going to go. I think a lot of people were tricked by Marvel and Disney into thinking that this was a kind of a sequel of sorts to Spider-Man No Way Home, which it absolutely was not, okay? This film is not that at all. That is what I was hoping this film was going to be. This is what they showed the film as being in the trailers, but it wasn't that at all. This film is more of a sequel to WandaVision, and it is absolutely Wanda's film. This is not a Doctor Strange film, and that is one of the biggest heinous things about this entire film this film is a wanda film this film is a, a, an america chavez film and dr strange just gets cucked in the film and is then put into the background while these female characters continue to you know show how empowered they are and everything else throughout the entire thing but so there's a lot of disappointment around that as well i believe the buzz around the sorcerer supreme sequel was loud especially after the juggernaut success monetary and critical of spider-man no way home Couple that with the return of director Sam Raimi to comic book movies and the never-ending list of possible cameos, which is another reason why people were very excited for this film, but the cameos were pretty atrocious, to be honest. Um, and Doctor Strange 2 became the, the 11th highest grossing opening weekend of all time. However, it's not all rainbows and sunshine for Marvel's witty wizard. The simplistic nature of the plot does not make it come off as goofy at times, and the lack of deep dive diving will leave some disappointed. Doctor Strange 2 currently sits at 74% on Rotten Tomatoes, not certified fresh, and has a cinema score of B+. It's not... 74% should be fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, right? Like, I gotta I gotta fact check this real quick, because I... Yeah, 74% is... Well, I mean, yeah. I, okay, so, I mean, it, it's... It's okay. It's okay. But it's not amazing or anything. Um, so, all right. Where's my... Okay, here. So, anyway. So, Multiverse of Madness has grossed an estimated $61 million during its second weekend at the domestic box office. A 67% drop from its $187 million opening weekend. That is a huge drop. Marvel Studios... Director Str Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness grossed $16 million on Friday, opening a steep 81% from the $90 million. That is insane. Projections have the film dropping around 65% to 69% the sec second weekend, eyeing a gross of 60 to $65 million. Back in December, Spider-Man No Way Home suffered an incredibly steep drop during its second Friday, 83%, but it was during Christmas Eve. That Friday drop d didn't seem to factor in much as Tom Holland's third Spidey flick in the third highest grossing movie of all time at the domestic box office. More compar comparable second Friday drops can be seen below, which obviously don't factor into, you know, Christmas Eve's or anything like that. Batman v Superman, Black Widow, Eternals, Captain America Civil War, The Batman. So, 
do does Multiverse of Madness have legs? Current projections have Multiverse of Madness totaling its domestic run between 380 to 405 million. A wide range, so let's narrow that down. So anyway, so this doesn't mean that the film isn't going to be successful, okay? That's not at all what I'm saying. Uh, but I do think this film is going to suffer for, for many reasons. It isn't going to do as well as people are thinking it's going to. I think even a lot of the projections for the film are going to end up being... Uh, kind of wrong and stuff because I don't think this film is going to have the legs that some people think it is going to have I think this film is going to suffer and I do think that this film already is suffering and I think there are a lot of reasons for that I did not like this film at all I thought that it was pretty terrible it is not a Doctor Strange film at all and it is a film that continues to feed and is in many ways foundationally woke through and through so let me know what you think about this in the comments below leave a like subscribe all that good stuff I'd appreciate that a lot and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon